What is up, guys? Zach Scott with my pal Xanator, and this is the Two in the Bush podcast, the best Fortnite AFK podcast there is. <laughs> and uh, the premise <laughs> basically is we get in a bush, we hide, we talk about the latest gaming news, and then uh, if we can win a game of Fortnite, great. I got the guns, don't worry. <laughs> if we can win a game, great. Uh, but the emphasis is mostly discussing gaming news with you guys. Welcome, Jordan. I mean, not, well, you're my co-host, you're my guest. <laughs> Welcome, <Yeah>. Jordan. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how, what's up? how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm great. I just got my gear. Now we got to find a bush to hide in. I don't know if we landed in a spot with bushes nearby. Uh, I did see some, and I think there's one right up here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm already so far away. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> uh, this is episode two, by the way. Last week uh, did pretty good. People seem to like it. We'll talk about some comments a little bit later. Uh, uh, if, if this one gets uh, 100,000 views, we'll do it forever. <laughs> <laughs> the episode one gets 10,000. Episode two, 100,000. We're looking for growth here. Um, every, you know, I want 10 times growth every time. <laughs> oh, here's some bushes over here. Here's a bush right here. See him? Uh, I saw one over here, too. And there's a car right here if we want to take oh. a car later. Uh, yes. So we can hide in this bush behind the car then. Yeah. All right. So much idea. of this podcast this is just trying to find bushes to hide in. But once we're in the bush, we really get in the flow. And now that we're here... Hey. We have some Fortnite news to talk about because, you know, Fortnite is... We're playing Fortnite. Might as well talk... Uh-oh. Someone, um, I think, saw us. Don't, don't, don't change guns. Oh. Stop changing guns. I change guns. Shh. This is the, this is the stressful part. Yeah. <laughs> they leave? Uh, yeah, I think we're good. They leave. They must be fans of the podcast. They knew. We don't, we don't have to shoot them, Zach. Okay, they're, okay. They're fine. We're far enough away. Fortnite news. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jordan did the bulk of the research on the Fortnite news. So I'll let him take it away. Yeah, I'm a big Fortnite head, so what can I say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the first thing is that Fortnite Magneto skin will be unlocked in two days, so or whatever. It's on July 2nd. <laughs> Ooh. So that's pretty that's cool. That's going to be out. It looks neat. Um, I'm not a big magneto person personally like i like the x-men but like i don't really care to have the skin but i'll take it for free uh <laughs> well i have like a ton of marvel skin so like it, i guess you have if to. they're gonna put one in a battle pass locked away i, I want to get it so i can have an exclusive skin that nobody else can except for the other people who did it yeah exactly will you remember to get on on july 2nd to get it is it only on july 2nd or i mean that's when it starts okay maybe we'll do it <laughs> <laughs> fair enough <laughs> And then uh, what else do we got? So we, we have a new game mode that you had no clue what it was, and I barely did. I had to research it. Uh, but it was called Fortnite Reload. So it came out, uh, I believe, just a couple days ago. And of what I can like gather about it, it's a 40-player experience. They've made a new map for it. Um, and the cool thing is, like the kind of, uh, I guess, fun touch to it, the quirk, is uh, when you die... Uh, you're, you're, so you're in a squad or duos now, which they've added. But uh, when you die, you have a timer uh, before you're going to, you know, be revived instead of like the traditional reload or you know revive method. Okay. And so only one squad member or duo member has to stay alive for you to be able to respawn. But as the <laughs> we have some guests showing up to yeah, our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guess they're big fans uh, I think we're good I'll just keep going uh, but as the game goes on um, you know the uh, respawn uh, like towards the end of the round the respawn will actually stop or the reboots will stop and then um, you'll not be able to return okay we're still good awesome <laughs> and you can shorten said reboot times as well by eliminating enemies swapping squads and you know, little things like that. So it seems fun. It didn't have bushes, like, you know, announced, so we didn't know if we could play it. It sounds um, a little too intense for bushes. Yeah, it, it didn't seem right for the, you know, the podcast. Like, I mean, maybe we might be able to get half a topic done, but that, that was pretty much what I could determine from it. But there's a lot of people that love it. I've, You know who I've seen that loves it, Zach? Uh, who? 
Ninja. Ninja. Ninja likes <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, he, he likes something. Oh, dude. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to like it then. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I saw a positive response from Ninja, and I was like, ooh. Ooh, that that's, can't me. be a good mode for me then. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's pretty much Fortnite news there. Um, but okay. like, or what I could find. There's other stuff. So one thing that I didn't add to our list, but I did see that was happening before we started, mm-hmm. was that um, you know the whole Apple and uh, Epic Games Fortnite on iOS oh, sort yeah. of thing that's happened. Yeah. So I think in the EU, Epic Games has just applied for Fortnite to be back on iOS. So that's another thing. Oh, I wonder how that's going to go for them. But with the EU uh, is probably more favorable favorable towards epic yeah i would think so because you know they don't want to the eu has quite strict laws of allowing inclusivity and um you know yeah. not being as strict on that i mean they're the reason we have USB C on phones now like <laughs> oh cool you know. i do like USB C. yeah exactly <laughs> so or, well they're one of the main reasons especially for iphone because now they have to use it instead oh, they do? of you okay. know, using lightning cable yeah so uh, okay well but yeah all right. Well, uh, news for me, you know, that I'm interested in. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD just came out this week. I pl- I'm playing it on my channel. The first episode already hit over 100,000 views. And uh, mm-hmm. so that's pretty good. I think it's been a real nostalgic trip for a lot of people who who watched me like over 10 years ago play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS. And uh, so it's been really fun visiting that series, especially because... I don't remember Dark Moon at all, hardly. Like, I'm playing through this game, and I don't remember anything. Like, it's a, it, a totally new experience to me, basically. I, I started watching you play episode one while I was playing games of the night, just out of curiosity. And, like, you being like, I don't remember any of this. What exactly. Is I know. This is so funny. But everyone in the comments, which the comments are the most positive comments I've seen. So nostalgic tripped. Oh, we're fine. They're leaving. And... That they're so nostalgic and so nice and like yeah they are ha- remembering everything from their childhoods essentially and then there's you being like what is this <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> it's so funny it's like you know i don't watch movies repeatedly over and over or tv shows over and over you know just because i've already seen it i want to go into something new same thing about games pretty much there are games that really lend themselves to you know repeated play like a roguelike game like binding of isaac or something like that you know yeah um but oh we gotta move jordan i'll finish that thought after far after we make it to the next bush let's go let's go (laughs) (laughs) let's whoa whoa two in a bush oh is, Wait, is I got you. Is it safe? Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> that, that actually did help. Yeah. I know. I'm really good. We had a car back there I forgot about. Yeah, but cars are so noisy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Take we could use goodness. that. Yeah, we could use that. Yeah. That's good. That way, if we do uh, get into an encounter, that'll be that'll be fine. I'm playing this tonight. Yeah, our plan is to <laughs> avoid encounters until the bitter end. The problem that exactly. happens at the end is like sometimes we're in the last few storm bubbles with no bushes to hide and we actually have to play the game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame. Like, I don't think Epic really thought about this podcast when making that. No, they need to bring back portable bushes so that we can just do it whenever. <gasps> bush. You got one? Nice. Yeah. We got 30 Good seconds bush. to finish the thought then. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, you know, so... You know, there's certain games that, you know, repetitive games. It's like, I remember Pac-Man. I know what Pac-Man's like. You know, like, it's such a simple <laughs> game, you know, with, like, just you do the same thing over and over and over. Tetris, I know exactly what Tetris is like. All that yeah. stuff. Even if I haven't played Tetris or Pac-Man for years, you know, I'll still always know what they're like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's always the same. <laughs> yeah, and so, but, like, with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, you know, I know what Luigi's Mansion in general is like. But I don't remember like the the individual mansions. I like there's maybe a little bit from the be- like here and there I'll get a glimpse. I'm like I kind of remember that, but I don't remember like hardly anything. It's it's crazy, and it just goes to show that I mean like I was worried. I was like, well, since this is just a remaster mostly, it's not a, it's not like a remake or a reboot so to speak. It's just a remaster of a game that's already there. I was worried like I'm, I'm just gonna be playing. And I'm gonna be bored. I'm like ah this again, you know. Yeah. But I don't. It's like a fresh experience for me. It's pretty cool. And I'm really enjoying playing through it again. And, 
Sorry, I just heard a noise. And it's a car. Yeah, you're good. I saw a noise, and uh, <laughs> that, it made me think about Resident Evil and why the I think the remakes are working so well for me, and just in players in general, is because you know I'm never well, I never say never, but I don't plan on ever going back <laughs> and like playing like the old Resident Evil two from the '90s, you know. And so I yeah. know like some of the story beats. I, I know the story about some of the stuff, uh, but I you know when I did play the remakes. You know, it was like really it felt really fresh. I knew like the police, like the the, uh, the the police building. I knew kind of that a little bit, but I knew the story. Like I said, some of the story beats, but it felt fresh. With the Resident Evil Four remake, I played Resident Evil Four so much. I even wrote like yeah. a game back about it. <laughs> but I played it so many times in so many different systems. And oh, there's a car coming. Hopefully they th they stay away. Uh, please, please go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but with good. Resident Evil 4, like it seemed like not only would I play, but I would watch other ple people play in that in that era of my life. Um, but with Resident Evil 4, oh, we gotta move. I'll just say Wait, this: go too far. With Resident Evil 4, uh, I definitely played the beginning of that game a lot more than like the end, and I've also seen the begin beginning of that game a lot more than, than the end. So in the remake, when I played, a lot of the story beats and the surroundings kind of like. Were very familiar for the beginning of Resident Evil 4, the remake. Yeah. But the once they like the first village with the chainsaw guy. Oh, like absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I played that so many times. Yeah. And then, but then you got into like more of the game, like further into it. I'm like, I don't remember this at all. I don't even remember the story. I don't remember. That's this. exactly how I felt. <laughs> so, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I do have one more thing to talk about, but we could we could do it the next bush. Yeah, next bush, next. We got to get to the next bush before yeah, we, gotta... we get ultimately destroyed. Where are we going, by the way? Uh, I just marked what I thought was another bush, honestly. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it felt like the right thing to do. They need a bush finder item in the game. That would be helpful. I mean, we just need the bush item. Then we're always in the bush. That's true. Hold on, we're going... Where did you mark? Okay, over there. Okay, yeah, yeah. That looks like you marked a bush-like structure. Yeah. <laughs> bush-like structure. <laughs> Man, there's so much... I'm, You know, with as often as we're hiding... Oh, there's a bush right over... First, so you marked a tree. Thing? There's a bush over here, though. Oh, I can't tell every time. <laughs> <laughs> this was a great one. Whoa, Metallica's playing up there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Okay, so the one thing I wanted to mention... Yes. ...was, you know, kind of back off of, you know, you saying that you didn't remember a lot of the games. We've actually had a lot of discussions, mm -hmm. uh, or I've had discussions towards you, about <laughs> you going back and playing some of, like, the older games that you've played that were really successful on the channel. Yeah. Like, like as a revisit, just to, like, kind of have, like, almost like a little nostalgia trip. Yeah. Which for you would probably be, like, you know... I don't remember anything, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always thought that would be something interesting, and like, I was wondering if that was something you would can, like you thought about doing after maybe this or yeah, I mean, anything of the sorts? So, so yeah, that, that's a good point too. Like, I thought about you know revisiting some older games just for like a little bit of time, not not necessarily playing them to completion. I also have like yeah. kind of an issue with like. You know, I already have the full series out on my channel. Like, if I were to play it again, do I even, like, how would I upload it? Would I just do, like, a, an extended episode? Would I try to squeeze the full game into one episode? Or should I, like, repackage <laughs> older stuff? Into, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, it's interesting to think about because um, the response on that Luigi's Mansion 2 HD video was so positive. Even though that, I yeah. essentially <laughs> already played the same game on my channel years ago. And it's still <laughs> available for, for people to watch right now, the Dark Moon gameplay. I am curious if uh, how much value people find uh, in it. They obviously found a lot of value in the first episode. I don't know. We'll see what the subsequent episodes what they thought. Um, yeah, true. But you know, so maybe. Well, was I heard a sound? Oh, oh we got to move slightly. Go <laughs> Hold on, there's oh. a car. Yep. Let's just kind of hang out for a little bit. Yeah, I think we're good for a moment. We've got 40 seconds. But I do think it's very interesting. And it's just, it's nice to see how, like, nostalgic people are for your content. Because, yeah. you know, I, I sometimes forget that, you know, they were watching you when they were 13, right outside of Coppa age. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, now they're, you know, like 23 or, you know, whatever. And, I'm going to go out right of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're reviving, so I thought we could go find a bush quickly. That's a good idea. <laughs> and then we could uh, hopefully find... better at stopping mid-sentence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I don't oh. see any bushes over here. There's got to be one. 
You think there's one on top of this floating island with Metallica? I don't know, but there's this rift we could take to a bush. Ooh, I like the way you think. Although they'll probably see us go right to it, but let's try it. That's fun. Alright, so you see Boy, any you bushes. shoot early. What? I say boy shoot early so you don't uh, lose lose your lift. Uh, bush, bush, bush. Where are you, bushes? Uh, is that a is that a bush right oh, right there? I don't know. Yes. Okay, great. Ah, uh, so far Doing away. The Two in the bush. One in the bush. Uh, I'm not even there yet. Hold on, I'll get there soon. Okay. I Take see time. someone's over over this way, but I don't think they'll see me get in this bush. All right, <laughs> this is the part of a podcast where people talk about sponsors. Of course, we don't have any, so use creator code Zach Scott Games or creator code Xanator because we're both epic partners if you want to get some stuff in the item shop. Uh, I took a look. There's some Avengers stuff in there. Uh, the Metallica stuff as well, I think, was in there. I don't know if it's still in there. Uh, and as always, you can buy anything on the Epic Store, not even just Fortnite. So. That's true. Anything on the Epic Store itself, or if you're, uh, you know, just, you could also, we have t-shirt shops if you want to see, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so. I put those links up last time because I couldn't remember my link. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, so that would really help us out if you use those. Because like I said, we're Epic and, partners. And don't forget you can be a YouTube member of Zach Scott Games. That's right. I, I, I knew there was something I forgot because <laughs> I was like, where does this go? I was thinking to myself, where is this going? Because I remember like writing something down because we have kind of a Google Doc about the outline of what we want to talk about. And uh, so, yes, thank you can become members of the channel and uh, you can leave comments and maybe we'll read some comments. And here are some comments from some members right now that I, I enjoyed. And I, uh, I might have to do that in the next bush. Oh, no. Why? What's Oh, we got to move. <laughs> yeah oh no we do got to move don't we okay we'll get to those in just a second but thank you all <laughs> who have become members I, I appreciate every one of you watching all the subscribers uh but the members but, mean so much more <laughs> but the members mean even more no i don't think of it like that oh there's some guys behind me or right by me i didn't move yet did uh, you move I, I i jumped into the water just to get the zoomy zooms oh there's someone over by me okay i'm gonna try to help you um they've not seen me yet i'm just crouch walking under the swap Okay. See any bushes down there? No, I don't know if they have bushes in this area. Yeah, with none. Oh, I was shot! Oh, no. I'm freaking out. I was shot. This might be our final stand. Oh, I see you're fighting down there. I haven't even fought yet. You've resided two people. <laughs> okay, I'm hurt. And I'm running through this. Wow. We can take this person out. Probably. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, they got they. They did that runaway thing real good. <laughs> okay, well. There's one above us. Oh, he's gone. Honestly, kind of rude of him to even engage with us. I know. We're trying to do a podcast Whoa, here. Oh, hey, Mr. Carr. Oh, I'm down. Oh, wait, I can build. <laughs> well, it's all up to you, Mr. Zach Scott. Ow. <laughs> oh, I got one down. <laughs> I love that we get top three by just having an abortion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, the person that got you and me, I think, had 13 kills. <laughs> wow, dang those cars we should have named it two in the car i don't know why <laughs> i don't know ring the same yeah two in the bush there's something special about it <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know all right two in the bush two in the bush we made it to another bush and so some comments that members left uh there was one by mary cohen i think you guys missed the idea that podcasts are supposed to be listened to not watched <laughs> so, so uh, it's called a video podcast it's a video podcast yeah <laughs> but i mean like you know you can listen to it don't we're doing play-by-plays of what we're doing you know so you know when we win or lose so yeah. uh but you know you can listen to it but i mean we do have here things to watch you know like our beautiful faces uh, exactly. In the future, I, I was on camera until now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, you know, I've been trying to get uh, Jordan to edit in some Ella Purnell slideshows. Uh, so, so I got you one static image so far. 
<laughs> Come on, Jordan. You can help me out. Um, Rock Vixen said, though, a little bit of a disagree. Great. Disagree with, with the previous comment. Great flow in this podcast between gameplay, you guys talking, and videos of the games you're talking about. Great job, guys. Yes. That's what I'm about. <laughs> that's what I'm about right there. And B-Bell, of course, says this is such a good series idea. Excited for the next video. Well, here it is. The next video right here. Thanks for tuning in. And to then um, Eyes Wide Open asked, will this be coming to Spotify? And I don't know. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, I don't really know how to. Uh, it's been a long time since I've like syndicated a podcast. Like I used to do it through RSS feed. Don't know how you do it now. But if it's easy enough to do, I mean, uh, you know, depending on what we cut out of it or however, I mean, I guess it's just uploading the audio file in a way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but Spotify has video podcasts too because they used to be like oh, the exclusive really? place for Joe Rogan. So oh, I didn't realize it was actually a video podcast. I thought they only hosted the like audio side of it. I didn't realize it was the video. Yeah, they had both. Yeah, so oh, okay. But I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, that's not something that I fully have considered. But I mean, like, if it for some reason became so popular that I just like felt the need to put it on multiple platforms and all that stuff, then maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, if it is for just the audio thing, like when you're you know out. I guess, you know, walking or whatever you do. Because I listen to podcasts while I walk sometimes. And yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, we, we could look into it, depending. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult. You I can guess. just watch it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can just watch it on YouTube and the little thing. I don't know if you have to have premium to, like, uh, you know, uh, whatever, you know, turn your phone off but still hear it. But I'm not oh, sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anymore. Yeah. Um, uh, that is a thing because I do have premium because yeah it gets and yeah downloading ads. a video is big for some people because cellular data yeah like you can download a podcast yeah so I don't know we can look into it if there's enough for demand yeah and then Andre the gamer says wow I just love the entire idea I can't wait for more episodes of this podcast because it's fantastic that guy's always <laughs> positive uh, thank you so much Andre. And so, yeah, those are. I recognize. I can see their um, profile image in my head. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So, I I really do appreciate all the comments from everyone, of course. But, a little perk for members, maybe read some of them on the the episodes could be cool. Good drive up memberships. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. No. But uh, the the next topic is one that I, you know, I'm mixed on because I kind of want to talk about it. I don't want to say the wrong thing. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, so, it's just a time. <laughs> and, and I have, you know, my inclination is always to try to be humorous about things, but this is a very serious topic. And so yeah. uh, I wrote down as much as I could just so like I don't veer too much into like riffing on the material because it's not really stuff. Anyway, Dr. Disrespect. Um, <laughs> it's nothing to riff on is what he's trying to say. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be, but Dr. Disrespect, uh, you know, I'll just start off right now. I don't really like diving into drama about other YouTubers or speculation or rumors. But this has kind of grown into a, a major news story that's grounded in fact because Dr. Disrespect himself did issue a statement confirming part of it. And, of course, he's faced real consequences because of it. And I thought I would just do a, a quick intro. For those of you who don't know who Dr. Disrespect is, he's a very popular streamer who once had an, an exclusive contract with Twitch. Uh, but he got banned in 2020 and no one's ever said why. Like, neither of them ever said why. And the docs <laughs> sued Twitch and they settled and Twitch paid out his millions of dollars. Because back then they were doing like big million, multi-million dollar deals for, for uh, contracts. Um, I don't know that there's so much doing that anymore. I don't think Twitch is. Um, Maybe because of this. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe because of this, or maybe just so that they don't need to anymore. I don't know. There was kind of like this this flare up of like YouTube and Twitch kind of competing for people, and uh, even Spotify jumping in, you know, grabbing Joe Rogan. But um, mm. as we call back, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but um, you know, he, as since that point, you know, they they settled and they both they said something like no wrongdoing or neither side admitted wrongdoing or whatever, and then Doctor Disrespect moved over to YouTube and resumed his career on YouTube and of course posting on other social media like Twitter and whatnot. And then uh, recently, like the past week or so, he was accused of sending sexual messages to a minor. And the person accusing him was a former Twitch employee. And it, it sounded kind of like rumor at the time. And then Dr. Uh, at the time of that accusation, and then Dr. Disrespect, um, he basically he issued a, one statement that was kind of brief. And it sounded like legal talk, really. And then he basically said he didn't do anything wrong. And he went on and he did a stream. He was doing Elden Ring at the time. He did a stream of Elden Ring. You know, I I tuned in briefly. Had like thirty thousand people watching him just play Elden Ring. He didn't expand on it at all during the stream. Uh, we should move. Dang, I thought we we're close enough to the middle. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's Maybe move. We can move and then continue that. Yeah. I'm just trying to get <laughs> through through the story just so that everyone's on the same page. So yeah, <laughs> but uh, let's see. 
Let's go. I don't know if Dr. Disrespect ever played Fortnite much. Uh, yeah, he did. I, I used to watch it a little bit before. What did he, know, he uh, what did he, what was he known for? Uh, mostly Call of Duty, I would say. Like, just, you know, being his eccentric kind of character at the time. Okay. Um, but like, no, nah, he was, he was mostly known for Call of Duty because he was literally, I can't remember his exact role, but he worked for Sledgehammer Games, which made the Call of Duty Black Ops series or worked on that. Oh, okay. Um, this is a tree, yeah, that, Jordan. That was, <laughs> uh, well, I didn't even mark it. I just marked <laughs> where the bubble edge was. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's get to the next bush. bush. Oh, I took damage. Dang. Oh, there's a bush in oh, front of this sick. house. All right, good. <laughs> it's like we don't want to dwell on this one too long. <laughs> Getting... oh, 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 was I shot at oh. or? No. No, I think it was to shoot. Oh. Oh, get in the bush. <laughs> Something's happening in the sky. No, well, we're good for at least a minute and a half. Yeah, so... Where was Where I? What do I well, anyway, <laughs> the rumors picked up, and then finally he made like a... He made like a, a long statement on Twitter. It was filled with expletives, but uh, it, yeah. I, it's hard to tell like when he's trying to be a character when he's trying to be genuine, but... He made it. He basically admitted to the sexual messages to a minor. He said it was wrong. You know, it's on him. All that stuff. And then he kind of said, uh, "But I'm not going anywhere." Then that's paraphrasing because I I don't I haven't read the statement in a long I mean, time. I that, mean, that's pretty much <laughs> yeah, pretty accurate. I read it before we started, and that's basically yeah, expletives okay. like yeah, so yeah. Anyway. Well, I just want to say you know before I say anything else about it, I just want to acknowledge that what he did was obviously wrong, and uh, you know sometimes I kind of like to just jump into talking about like. You know, analyzing the situation or discussing the impact of the news or whatever. I, I have this problem with like talking just about like anything with friends, like politics, whatever. I, I sometimes forget to like you know show how I feel about it because in my, in my mind I just like I've already gone through it. I've acknowledged that it's wrong. I've like I'm like oh I'm so disappointed you know, and I forget to like kind of say that. And so sometimes it comes off. I don't want it to come off as like I'm defending him with anything that I say from now on, <laughs> you know. So like obviously what he did was wrong. I was I was thinking like. I don't know how old this person is because there's so much rumor to it, um, but you know, I'm just ima I don't have a daughter, but I'm imagining that I, you know, I have a teenage daughter, and some like thirty something year old is like chatting her up, and I'm like just livid thinking about that, <laughs> and so oh. that just sounds awful. And so obviously, what he did was wrong. He acknowledged what he did was wrong, and uh, or I don't know the, the word wrong. I mean, he his legal talk. I mean, he, at first he said yeah. no wrongdoing, and I think wrongdoing. He forcibly said he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, like wrongdoing might be a legal term. I don't know, uh, but you know, it was immoral. It was wrong. I think it was wrong. You think it was wrong, Jordan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> so, I'd like, I just want to be like, clear. I, I just want to be clear yeah. that like, I'm not like, I don't know how. I, I'm not. I don't. I haven't seen anyone say like, well, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know. But and so it makes me wonder like, what kind of fan base he's going to retain. Uh, yeah. But, but anyway, my whole point is, you know. As I talk about it, I don't want anyone to think I'm running defense for him or, or just because I forgot to say it was wrong myself that I don't think it is. You know, anyway, we got to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a point to move on. <laughs> it's just, yeah, we got we're in, gotta find another bush. Yeah. The so, bush. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so my, anyway. The, the, the part where we don't talk during, during about the news while we uh, are trying to find another bush is really funny to me. Because it's just yeah. like, well, we're going to leave that in the air for a while. Let's. Oh, this is an area that doesn't really have a lot of bushes also. Oh, that's not good. That's not I good. I mean, flowers are like bushes, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to go south, I think, if we want to find bushes. Okay, this, are you sure there's not any up here? That, that whole decayed area, oh, I, have, yeah, I don't remember like any all... bushes in there. Okay, so do we want to try to get towards like Pleasant Plaza? I think so. Okay. Oh, hey, we got no. this cool stuff. Oh, but well, also, keep in mind, we're going towards cars. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, oh, here's I'm a, swimming here's in the bush. water so I can use I got the a bush. things to teleport. Now, you go and talk. I'll, I'll be there soon. <laughs> well, it has to be two in the bush. That's the podcast. Two in the bush. I'm in there in spirit. No, two, two whole people in the bush. There I'm you the are. Bush. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey. So... Um, <laughs> The news part about, I mean, that's news in itself, but the news part about it is that he did, and I, again, I don't want to speculate on, on a bunch of stuff because you know, I don't want to give into rumors and I don't want to like you guys to believe things that aren't true. Uh, from As far as I know, everything I said is the truth right now. 
And uh, but here's more of the impact that that news story had is that he was fired from his game studio, Midnight Society. And I haven't really kept up with you know what that game studio is because uh, I know that I knew that he formed one, and I was just, I was just gonna wait to catch up on it when the game was released, you know, to see like if it's something I'm interested in. I, I tend to not follow gaming news very closely, which is kind of ironic since now we're doing a gaming news podcast. <laughs> do, you, do, do you want me to tell you why you wouldn't have looked at that game? Sure. Yeah. NFTs. Oh, I'm all about NFTs. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's it's basically an NFT game, so it probably would. Uh, was hit. it really? Was it? it was yeah, it was. Yeah, well, it was. I know that he had like three other people, like who were co-founders. But anyway, yeah, he was Robert Bowling and a few others, I believe. He was fired from that, and he made it sound like it was mutual. They made it seem like they fired him no it matter what. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, and then also. Which I think is a bigger news in a way is that he's been demonetized from YouTube, which is a big deal for a YouTube creator because then you can't make money off of YouTube. Uh, no ads run yeah. for, for, uh, before your videos. You don't have any sort of fan funding. If I lost monetization on my channel, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably I'd have to go somewhere else. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, So that's a big news story to me. Um, I'm curious how that works, but we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit, probably next yeah. next time because I don't think we're going to find any more bushes. Yeah, it really depends on what we can find here. <laughs> and I have very low ammo and stuff. We're the- <laughs> Same, we're like six shotgun bullets, <laughs> not the SMG. Oh, we go up here. Uh, no, we can't. Well, well, um, I don't know. I'm afraid Metallica will start playing if we go up there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There is a rift. Ooh. The rift could be useful, actually. Yeah. I think we should take it. Okay. Oh, tell him, Joss. I'm so, just going to fly way over there here. A, yeah. Oh, you're going that way. Oh, you're going into the no bush area. There's bushes over here, I think. Oh, there is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to the bush area then. All right, I think there should be. I think there's a bush right there, but... That does look like a bush. Um, there's no way this is going to backfire on us. Yeah, let's see if we can get into it without being noticed. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is stealthy. <laughs> Doing the wish. And we're in. <laughs> and so, hold on. Is anyone nearby? Where were you? Oh, so what? I, and again, I have this. So again, that's about all the news, like all the facts that I know of. Uh, there's mm-hmm. tons of speculation on Twitter, and I've been kind of following it. And I don't know how he's coming back from this, but. And we should mention that by the time this is uploaded, there could be something drastic that's come out so yeah that's you know, true yeah let, let it be known this was on june 30th <laughs> yeah he said that he was like he's taking a vacation now and then he's gonna come back and i just don't know what coming back's gonna be like i wouldn't be surprised if he made another statement further expounding on it but i don't know i felt like that he thought it was gonna be too easy to come back from this i don't know <laughs> it's just it's just so weird it's yeah. like out of all the things to do, do, like you know, murder, murder is probably at the top of them, and then like anything with the miners next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just <laughs> like, yeah. and so it's just I don't know. But the the things that the only I have questions. I have I have why did Twitch settle this? If he clearly bro- oh we gotta move. Dang it. Here we go. Why did Twitch settle <laughs> if if he so clearly broke the terms of service? And I don't have an answer, and I don't want to speculate on it. Whoa. Yeah. Sorry, we're talking. We can't talk about stuff while we're out, out of the bush. <laughs> I know. It's just like. It's such a sensitive topic that I feel like we almost have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're trying so hard to, like, be sensitive of it. <laughs> I'm just still running after going through that thing. I'm, oh, I'm out. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the, the speed boost. I need that. Well, that's the thing. And you know me. I do not like to talk. Oh, here's some. Please. I do not like to talk about drama and rumors. But, like, this has kind of expanded way more into it. If it never expanded into like this, I never would have mentioned it. Is like yeah, just a rumor. Like, yeah, kind of like a f- affecting a lot of like actual like get more. Oh, no, this no, it's no, not, not safe. Not <laughs> you have any guns? Yeah, it's it's kind of. Well, here we go. That'll work totally. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I still don't yeah. know what all this guitar stuff in the air is. I have not been keeping up with the mechanics. Oh, there's someone in front of us. Nice. So was that a bot that made it this far? Nah. Oh, it's a snapper, my favorite. Was there no sniper ammo, or did you take it? Uh, <laughs> I have some sniper ammo. If it's this one, that's all right. I got is that, this, is that sniper? Yes, queen. Thank you. All right, uh, we gotta keep going. Jeez. Nuka Cola. 
I feel like we are very outmatched by these people flying around with guitars in the air. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I have fists. I got those somehow. Oh, dude. You can fist them real good. I'll try. Uh, I think, well, no, I think, I don't know where to go at this point. I'm just trying to get to the, to the actual thing, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna take this car. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Let's go. Literally just to try to get there a little faster. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> 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 just take us to our demise a little faster. Hey, anything to get into another bush. <laughs> exactly. Part of the premise of the podcast is that the bush needs to be, you know, oh, uh, in, in an area that we can be safe for a little while so we actually have time to talk. Yeah. Right, I think we can get out here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just we're, we're in a safe zone, so I feel like... They're just flying through the air the entire time. I don't know how this is going to work for us. I don't either. I'm going to give it my all, though. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you were giving your all. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Every every game I play. Oh, yeah. I've experienced that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's six people left. Five people left. Three three others left. Oh, there. There's a few of them just over here. Ooh, there's one of those fancy cars with the rockets. Really? Yeah, it's just hanging up there, though. Like, right near them. But I feel like we could maybe sneak and take it. <laughs> maybe. You want to give it a go? It might be our best bet. Like, I could try to go get it and bring it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of damaged. Or... Do you want to get in, or...? I was trying to. I got stuck. Hey, help. Hey, help. Get in. Right. Now you can shoot. All right, He's down. down. Oh, my God. Uh, go back that way, please. Which way? <laughs> oh. I wanna uh, not let them revive. Okay, I'm hurting. What was that? Oh, I'm down. I eliminated someone though. You're down? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna drive to the safe zone. <laughs> like there's someone up there. You might be able to take them out. Are people flying What, what button artists? do you press to switch? Uh, control. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> hey, it could work. I'm out. How do you control again? You're in the back seats. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Perfect driving. Oh, Ooh, there they are. Where is he? Uh, around you somewhere. I think he's just flying. We'll get ready to move again. Oh, there they are. Maybe you make them fall to their death. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Could you not figure out the no. controls? Oh, the two you let? Yeah, there you go. How do you... Oh. How do I do this? It's a 1v1, by the way. I don't know how to use this. Use your gun. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. dang! <laughs> oh my God, it's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it was him. It was actually him. No, it'd be funny it's if that was actually him. him. <laughs> I know, right? I would be like, wow. I thought you would have been better. Jeez. <laughs> ah, I, I, I tried. Uh, I just didn't really understand how to use the fists. <laughs> that might have been a better gun moment. <laughs> I know. You're right. Uh, too bad we didn't win that one. But we played second. That's what you always say. <laughs> that is true. It's the top ten, top five, top three. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, two in the bush. We're we're back in a bush and uh, another round of Fortnite. And I just want to ending the doctor disrespect topic here. You know, I just want to say like I'm just kind of left with some questions because I, I just from like a business point of view, I'm curious. You know, why Twitch would settle if he clearly broke their terms of service? You know, and then I'm also curious how long YouTube's demonetate demonetization will last. And YouTube is so specific about everything. Like when we upload videos, we have to like rate our videos for like on all these different like metrics so that ads can run on the videos. And but this like demonetizing a channel for improper conduct, you know, outside of YouTube, it, especially you know when it didn't occur on their platform, it's such a subjective thing. Like like does 
do you ever come back from that? Do you ever get remonetized in the future? Like, what metrics do you have to meet to do that? And I'm just curious. It's just a curiosity, you know. I'm not like, I'm not like antsy. I'm not like, when's not coming back? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what YouTube's like policy upon that is because like they have a like they have a policy, but then they also have like kind of their own, I guess. Um, yeah judgments that they can take with it yeah as well. it seems very subjective it seems a little open-ended and subjective and i know that they yeah. temporarily demonetized sniper wolf for a little while oh, and yeah, of and, course. and then she's remonetized now and okay i didn't realize she was yeah I, and, and i think because i checked her channel and ads are playing and i checked dr disrespect okay. channels and no ads are playing and, and any of that stuff um and uh i think they also demonetized russell brand and so oh, yeah and so it's just kind of one of those things where i'm just kind of curious from like a YouTube perspective, like you know, can, can he ever can be he redeemed? Come back? <laughs> yeah, can he be yeah. redeemed in the eyes of YouTube? You know, like yeah, because otherwise like, he says, let alone fans like right. just YouTube themselves. Yeah. Right, right, and so you know, and you know, I I was a fan of Doctor Dis- Disrespect in the fact, in the sense that like I don't know anything about him personally at all, but like maybe once a year I would tune into a stream just to kind of get those vibes because I thought they were like like I thought his intros were funny. I thought I was gonna his, say you were mostly impressed by like the overhopped, like crazy technical. Yeah, side the of production like quality was really yeah. good, and it was just kind of funny for it to be such a long intro to like because mm-hmm. I try to get like right into the gameplay when I'm doing any video, but he he's mm-hmm. like standing around in his like CGI like graphics and stuff, and just yeah. like like talking in a slow pace, you know, for like thirty minutes. It seemed it, it was a very different vibe than most things on YouTube. Yeah, which yeah. Was, interesting yeah yeah and so you know he says he's not going anywhere but i don't think he's going to stick around youtube if he can't make money there and so <laughs> you know what's what does the future for someone like that look like you know is he just going to yeah. be on like kick or rumble or or even twitter because i know that elon's been promoting like stream on twitter like he's like mm, guys you, uh, you should stream on twitter i'm like why <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's, there's no yeah (laughs) yeah but i mean anyway but that's all i wanted to say i hope that we handled that respectfully uh given the sensitivity of it you know try not to make we reviewed it and we tried our best so you know yeah please bear some bear with us a little if you think came off weird yeah (laughs) yeah and just let me know in the comments you know what you think about it and then if uh maybe we'll talk i don't know we'll see we'll see what develops in the before the next podcast but uh, I know that you're eager to move on to this topic because <laughs> <laughs> tell me <laughs> now let's talk about something that uh, is a little lot more lighthearted. but we have uh, so Donkey Kong Country Returns HD of course got announced during the Nintendo Direct yes um, so it got reported that it's going to be a full price or well I guess a little under full price because some of them are like $70 now yeah but, the Tears um, of the Kingdom was 70 yeah yeah, so it, it's got a price of sixty dollars, and yeah. game like the fans are not very happy about it. Reddit was upset, articles were upset. Um, you know, when I saw on Twitter and slash X, people were upset. Yeah, um, just because I guess you know it's. I don't even know if it was sixty dollars on the 3ds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the prices <laughs> on 3ds. But, yeah, but I want to say forty, but I'm again I don't remember right. So yeah. Don't and you know, Nintendo is very proud of their work. They rarely ever discount it unless it becomes like a player's choice. And they don't even do player's choice for the Switch. So no. um, occasionally, like, they'll have sales through like retailers, you know, but nothing official from Nintendo. Like, they never, like, they have, they did have the thing where you can, like, buy two games for, like, cheap, a little bit cheaper if you were, like, a Switch yeah. Online member. <laughs> so they're, they're very limited on that for sure. It, it kind of reminds me, like, of, uh, you know, the, there's like certain like shoe brands and stuff like that. Like they just never lower the prices. Yeah. Like, it's always the same. <laughs> yeah. And that but, that's yeah. good for the brand. You know, it makes Nintendo yeah. come off as a very premium brand. Um, yeah. As a player though, you know, we are in an, in an environment where games, everyone's used to like PS5 games or Xbox games or like all these third party games going on sale, like a couple weeks after release. Yeah. Uh, everyone's used to steam games being on sale, like all the time. <laughs> summer sales going on right now yeah and <laughs> yeah. and everyone's also used to phone and tablet games being free basically yeah free or nine nonsense or whatever so, you know so yeah i i, I get it. i i don't know i don't know how nintendo is going to adapt to price expectations of consumers i'm glad that they haven't raised except for zelda they they did mm-hmm. raise the price on that but i'm glad so far with that exception, they haven't like gone up to the you know the sixty, 50, I mean seventy dollar price point like yeah. I think some other 
game companies have. I guess, you know, when you said that, it just kind of hit me, like, the fact, like, putting Donkey Kong Country Returns of what I remember yeah. in my, like, that beside of Tears of the Kingdom with a $10 price difference. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Donkey Kong should be at least 120 <laughs> so yeah bring back the like like let's adjust it to inflation in the 90s yeah well, i mean yeah and that's the thing is like we've also been lucky as consumers that that game companies haven't gone up on their games more and the reason that they yeah. haven't is because they've figured out how to supplement them with other charges like online service fees and and dlc yeah. and microtransactions and which, which i mean maybe maybe we're unlucky with that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's Not true more unlucky now you think about it <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move we do, but yeah, and you know they're also unhappy the fact that you know the game's kind of a port. It's not like yeah a full new experience where it's more of you know like kind of a a, re, a remaster of sorts. Yeah, so I, I do one thing. I do wonder how much they've done, how much work they've done, because I saw screenshots of Luigi's Mansion Two versus Dark yeah. Moon. It seems like they added a lot to the graphics, and I, I'm curious. That, that one looks vastly different. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, let's move. Here we go. <laughs> We're safe. Oh wait, hold on. Do we need anything from here? I'll take this over the so. banana. <laughs> uh, oh, I want right. to take this car with us just in case. So we have like an easy way out. Yeah, because I always forget. Yeah. Do we want to just go on the edge or do we want to try to go a little deeper into? Uh, We can go a little deeper, I suppose. There's cars right next to us. Okay. That's why I'm going this way a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, circumvent a little around them. Hope that they won't follow suit <laughs> what's going on there look at those sparks um, yeah I, I i was wondering if that was just a visual glitch for me or not there's a crown to the right <laughs> that means there's a person <laughs> yeah i know but like a crown so. it's it's worth it <laughs> all right let's uh let's oh see. there's a bush do you, do you, <laughs> where at? It was right next to us oh i didn't even see it do you see a cool place to mark that's like a little more centralized uh, somewhere in here. Okay. I was afraid to bring up the uh, map while we were kind of being followed. <laughs> or like, we were around people, I should say. Whee. This is like the slowest car in the world. There's a bush on top of that cliff right there. Okay, we, we could do that. Oh, let me get... Perfect. And a cow catcher. That'll be really handy, actually. Don't run over the bush. And what does this do? Getting fuel. Oh, uh, okay. There, right. there we go. And this pocket next to the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not beside the bush. <laughs> in the bush, there we go. Splatfest it's in that bush. It's coming back. Uh, did I write down the dates? Yeah, this is the 12th and the through the 14th, the new Splatfest. Uh, in what is probably the final season, but this is going to be the summer nights uh, event that they've been they've been talking about. And this is uh, here's the topic, by the way, and uh, you can see it big on the screen. Hopefully, if it's edited. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you reserve for a day? A palace, a theme park, or a beach? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So our team, my Splatfest team has already decided like we're all like on team theme park i'm pretty sure okay i was going to say that's the only one to me that makes sense to be honest yeah i can see it from like a lot i mean you keep in mind like, a lot palace of people, is cool yeah palace is cool a uh, beach i mean like i guess if you just wanted a private beach for like a wedding or so i don't know like no one else could Maybe. be here the thing is i've gone to like beaches that just like even in busy times in the summer like i went to saint augustine this time a couple years ago yeah expecting it to be packed we were the only two on the beach for like three hours a day. <laughs> oh, wow. It was great. And I that's a nude again. beach, right? Yeah, God, just everything swinging out. It was great. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, so I, we're on team theme park. You know, a lot of people, when they pick for Splatfest, they, they pick based off the character who's representing it. So like Shiver is representing oh. Palace, Fry is representing theme park, and... Uh, Big man's representing beach. I'm pretty sure that's how it's like. That makes up. a lot more sense. Why I always see people saying like, "I'm with big man." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I, our team always tries to do it based off the actual answer that we would choose, and so yeah. we we don't really hold loyalty too much to any of the the characters. Um, so, but um, 
Yeah, theme park to me, reserving it, having a private theme park for a day would be, I think, the most benefit because you wouldn't have to wait in lines. Yeah, <laughs> like trying to think of like you, even theme parks, you know, smaller near me, like Kings Island or you know something like that. It yeah. sounds so fun, like to not have to wait. Yeah, wait in a line at like you know to ride the Beast or whatever else, or you know, say you're going to Disney. Even that would be so much cooler. Yeah, you know. Imagine like always, all the workers are still there in their little stands, just waiting for you to get there, and you don't even like go there. Like they just walk by. Like yeah. oh, I thought I was gonna. <laughs> they have to still prepare all the food for you. Oh my god! I mean, I'd be just getting like a funnel cake at like each one though, and I'd be like, all right, you got Aussies? Heck yeah! <laughs> like uh, it's kind of funny when I go to theme parks. I I tend to like to eat some of the more like, oh, what is it called? It's like it's like like home cooked type foods like oh really like yeah <laughs> like the more meal type foods like because uh, do you ever get like you know there's certain places that do like the big turkey legs yeah so i do the turkey yeah. legs sometimes but like i'm thinking like there were i'm I, when we went to universal like there was a harry potter section and, oh, yeah. and in there like there was one of the restaurants that was kind of like a i don't know the terminology but it kind of felt like a like a tavern or something you know it's probably a tavern yeah so i or got pub. like uh like like meat and potatoes and like but you know just like uh, you know. it's just classic british food right there rock a roast <laughs> yeah 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 and then sunday roast yeah and so like when theme park and like disney like epcot have you ever been to epcot no, we want to actually go to Disney this year if we can manage it, maybe for Halloween or Christmas, but we're, we'll find out. Yeah. It's expensive right now. It, yeah, because it's the summer, and yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Expensive, in just in, I mean, Disney in general right now is expensive. Yeah, um, that, that's kind of the, the, the big thing. I do know some people that live in Florida. We can, might be able to schmooze a residence thing, but even then, it's still pricey. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I re- highly recommend at least, like, I know that, like, you can do the thing where you could like hop through all the parks or whatever, but I really yeah. recommend Epcot because of the food. <laughs> yeah. So Elle's, so Elle's first two trips to America was only to Orlando to go to Disney. They didn't oh. even go to the one in Paris. They just skipped straight over to Florida. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the one to go to though. Yeah. So she's been to it twice. I've not been. I've only been to Florida once in my life. So I mean, and that was uh, you gotta pretty go. recent. Gotta yeah, go. it's a good place. And we I gotta love go. Everything about it. <laughs> we gotta go. I've already kind of marked where we need to go, but we have a car. Yeah, true. I'll let you drive. <laughs> so I can I'm shoot. Not. That's honestly a good idea. <laughs> do, 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 do. Did you say you marked? Because I'm marked. Because I didn't know if there was a place. Oh, there's a blue. Oh, I okay. marked. Uh, Whoa, what was that? <laughs> it's something I did. Okay. <laughs> it's to make us go a little faster. I don't know where the bushes are around here. Uh, oh, there's. Well, no. well, we'll find one. Yeah, I think if we go over here, there would be something. Oh, there's another guitar there. Oh, do you want that one? Or where is yeah. it? Oh, there's a bush right there, too. Oh, a white bush! Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I haven't really seen one of these. It's pretty much George. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> where are you? Uh, I was getting a guitar. Okay. Don't forget to in the bush. I had to ride that man. Has to be two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. One in the bush is not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> what if they have a guess? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I thought hey. about that. I don't know. <laughs> It's a lot in the bush. Doing a bush with another one in the bush. <laughs> it's a lot in the bush. It's crowded. Anyways. <laughs> Tight fit. Uh, Anyways. So, I mean, I, I bush what I mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, splat, so that Splatfest is coming up. So one more thing about the Splatfest. You said the final season? Like already? We're, we're in like the final. Like they call it like chill season. Oh. Like some, I, I don't remember what summer is called right now. Oh, okay. uh, dang it! We gotta move oh so much God. again. But yeah, is, is there's this like the last up, like Splatfest for not not necessarily the last Splatfest, oh, okay. but it's the say, last wow. like we're in like this season. Like every season, they have a new season, like a fresh okay. season. I don't remember what they're called because I'd have to look it up. But there's like one of the seasons called Chill Season, one of them's called like Fresh Season, one of them's called whatever. And there's okay. like four of them, and then we're in like the second year. And typically okay. for Splatoon games, Nintendo only supports the Splatoon games for like two years, and That's so. Kind of shame. Well, with new content, like so, new guns. Oh, okay. So each season, there's like new guns, new, like a new map, you know. Oh, okay. And so people are suspecting that next season they might do another season, but they won't have like really anything new to it. Like that's okay. what people are speculating on. I know we talked about mm-hmm. speculation and stuff, but yeah, uh, it's very like oh, we got to go. Oh, we just got to. Yeah. Where's our car? I, I think you mentioned everything you need to mention there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Someone on that bridge over there. Someone go this way a little bit. 
All right. Heck yeah. Any more? Can we can we add some guns to this bad boy? I know, I'd like that, but... <laughs> oh! Hey, they shot me up there. That was awesome. Rude! Do we have bulletproof tires, or...? I did, yeah, so this actually worked out pretty well. Wow, they, they ate up our health with whatever they had. Probably guns. Oh, I didn't think that. Oh, bush! Hey! This might be our last bush of the, the, the round. For sure. Uh, and yeah. then we get to do some guitar play where we just jump around with guitar. Anyway, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> what we yeah, got? so next is something you're really passionate about. Yes. I know you've been talking about it nonstop. You're just always in my ear about it. Um, Elden Ring. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring. <laughs> so <laughs> I know you're always talking about it and everything. You love it so much. But the obviously the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC came out. And uh, I wanted to talk about it just because, uh, oh my god, this storm, uh, because <laughs> it sold 5 million copies. That's in, a lot of copies. Uh, yeah, and like, you have to beat two bosses to be able to play this, and I believe it's the final boss, and then literally an optional boss. That's how cruel they are. Zach? What? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you have to beat it in the first game to be able to even play the DLC. Like you're just not allowed until you do that. Oh really? So you can't even play yeah. the DLC? Oh wow. And according to Steam, two thirds of the entire player base of Elden Ring PC players have yet to defeat the uh, enough to be able to actually play the boss and to play the DLC or to play the DLC rather. Oh, so they Which, own it, but they have it. They can't even play it. Yeah, exactly. So. They still sold 5 million copies, even though that number has happened. Let's go. And, um, yeah. <laughs> what you, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, we have guitars? Yeah, I am flying. Oh, my God. What the hell? I this don't is, know what's happening. This is oh, pretty good. I shouldn't have pressed it. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know what just happened, my dude. That was I, scary. I, I flew pretty far with that. I flew really far, and then, like, I just don't know really what I was doing with my life. I don't want to use it again, but actually attack them. Dang, I'm down. They got me. This, this pretty little thing with leg tattoos got me. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in a bush. You got this. So let me tell you all about Dark Souls. No, it has to be two in a bush. Oh, yeah. That's not true. What's happening? Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to use those either. Oh my god, they're so weak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> we're back in the bush. Uh, you were still talking about Elden Ring, and I was trying not to zone out, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's your favorite game, Zach. <laughs> we actually, t well, I was going to say, again, this was a me talking towards you thing. Yeah. But you were also mildly tempted to... Uh, Maybe do it, but I think it would be hilarious if you streamed Elden Ring, just playing it for the first time. Yeah. And, like, with no intention to finish it, just to play it. Yeah. <laughs> because Didn't Souls I do, like, like a 20-minute intro to it or something? <laughs> you might have done. I don't remember. I did the reaction <laughs> to the trailer. <laughs> you did? That was literally me messaging you and be like, you should react to this because you know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, hey, it worked. I, I just, I mean... The aesthetic of those type of games just doesn't do it for me. It's something that just turns me off so bad about like this like whole muddy, dark looking aesthetic. Like yeah. the same thing with so, Dark Souls. It's just like if they made like something like Fortnite that like with the Fortnite aesthetic that was that game, I'd probably be all over it. Yeah. Or like you, you know need what I to mean? play the the crab game. I forget what it's called, but it's basically Dark Souls, but you're a crab underwater and it's all colorful. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm in, uh, so I'm I just looked. You did a quick play of Elden Ring. <laughs> like 20 it minutes. It was my first 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was all I could do. <laughs> no. Yeah, I did like nothing. <laughs> oh, I want to see you just beat one boss. Like, that should be your goal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I really Thank respect, you. you know, Kai for the way that he he tackles playing those games oh like i think did we talk about this privately or last episode i don't remember i think we might have talked about it privately it yeah about like con like doing the 100 hour stream which yeah. it was 99 hours he thought it was gonna be 100 plus but 
And, and the thing is, is like I don't have that type of stamina or longevity to do super long no. streams. I have things going on in my personal life that I want to do rather than that. And <laughs> no, no long. knock on him because like he's a, <laughs> made a huge career out of it. You know, yeah. like. And he's, Zach has a lawn to upkeep, you know. I have to mow the yard. I have to cook. I have to, like, do dishes. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the luxury of maybe just, like, off-putting that as much. But uh. Yeah, and so, I mean, I get it. I mean, he's he's living a totally different life than me. And if I were if I were that successful at, you know, videos and streaming as Kai, then obviously I'd be doing what Kai is doing. Because, I mean, it, it's yeah, really working for it him. Works. And I really respect it <laughs> that he does it, you know. And it's also kind of yeah. one of those things that I just don't want to – even attempt to do the way that he does it so yeah i think it's you know it's that and it's the determination to because like he died like 1200 or 1600 times something like that and that's that's just elderly like you die so much yeah and like for him to persevere through that is wild but also just like that's what gets me about souls games like my brother is a big souls game person he's played elden ring he's played dark souls more times than i count doing like new game plus um you know all this crazy stuff and like he'll do all these different builds i just don't have that patience like if i die from a boss more than twice i never want to play the game again <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm really not a bot like i don't like boss things like i like open world or like i like an open world thing but i like the exploration of the worlds more and like the story i don't really want to like fight a boss like i like mario bosses you hit them three times <laughs> they're and done yeah. by god you've done it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um, what about like destiny bosses did you like those so i did but like i mean we did some where it was just me and you but you know you needed a lot of support with those sometimes yeah which could be a bit of a thing like the specific raids but like we would even be able to do a lot even with just like randoms and like those yeah. were fun because but they had like and I guess the thing is, like, so I watched one Elden Ring fan. I've been watching Gab Smolders play it. Um, and the interesting thing with uh, when she's playing it is, like, you know, you start seeing their weaknesses. Kind of like, you know, Mario, but instead of, you know, it being like their stomach glows bright red, oh, you just yeah. have to figure it out by, like, oh, you chop out their legs and these vines eventually, like, or their legs start to fray. Like, oh, okay. it's really yeah. subtle. Okay. Um, like it, it, it has that mechanic and then it's sort of like a rhythm game is like probably the best way to explain it. Like the dodging, learning their mechanics of how to dodge things. Yeah. Um, like I know it gets quote unquote easier, but you get punished so many times before it gets easier. Yeah. Um, it, it's just like, a type of, you know, it's the type of game. It's made for a very specific type of player. Yeah, I don't know. If I think I it's have that someone that wants like <laughs> thousands of hours out of their game, you know. Yeah, whereas I want like, six. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. <laughs> like we were talking about the Donkey Kong Country. That's probably going to be like a six-hour game for sixty dollars, but yeah. you can pay seventy dollars and probably get infinite gameplay out of Elden Ring with yeah. you know doing different runs and new game pluses. But yeah, it really just depends. Like. I think yeah. my perfect game with bosses, now that I'm thinking about it, might be the Spider-Man games. The Marvel Spider-Man on PS5. Yeah, those are fun. Like, they're a little bit challenging, but you can get them first or second try. <laughs> I'm all over the place when it comes to what I think of like as an ideal length for a game. It really just depends on the type of game. And, yeah. you know, I poured hours and hours and hours into roguelike games like Binding of yeah. Isaac. And and I also with tower defense games like Plants vs Zombies, uh, mm -hmm. but f sometimes for a story game, I'm like really wanting like a six hour to eight hour game. I just want to get this story, get it done, be done <laughs> with it, feel accomplished, but not have spent so much time doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what recent game has been like that. Like the Resident Evil remakes, the Resident Evil Two. Well, yeah, true because they're off the you know <laughs> gameplay of yeah, the yeah. Old, I guess they might be more closer to ten. I don't rem remember, but like I think it was about ten to twelve hours. Yeah, something like that. But like you know, just something that's not like you know a movie's like two to three hours. TV series is what like maybe eight to ten hours. So something along yeah, those lines. The Telltale games are perfect. Uh, yeah, because they take about you know probably six to ten hours depending. Yeah, or less. I mean, like yeah, yeah. probably less. I forget you did about thirty minute episodes at that time. Yeah, we, we kind of moved slightly. Move. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, th th that's kind of where I am with games right now. Um, you know, this Luigi's Mansion is probably going to take like eight hours, probably Lu yeah. Luigi's Which, Mansion yeah, too. That's very nice. 
I just don't like so what what ends up happening for me is like if I'm playing a game I'll just kind of like if it's so long and it's not there's something about like again hundreds of hours in Splatoon hundreds of hours in like Fortnite hundreds of hours within Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare Mm -hmm. there's something about the repetition that is fine on certain games but like for like a story game there's no way I'm gonna want I don't do not want to spend anywhere near 100 hours on a story game I just want to be done with it you know like and i guess one thing as well that like not everyone understands is it's also very different when you're recording yeah Um, that's true you're doing everything in an hour two hour segments and then you take a day while you're waiting you know to get the video live then you're coming back to it playing for an hour and doing that repetitively for like 20 days yeah you kind of like lose a lot of steam that's why i think a lot of people have done the like full gameplay stuff where sometimes they don't even commentate through it yeah they don't even (laughs) yeah i don't yeah, the, the 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 no commentary videos are a little a little like that's I don't, your dream. <laughs> the, I, I, yeah, I I just don't want to do those because I think that a no. lot of people watch the channel to see me commentate. Yeah, but for also sure. if you're doing no commentary stuff, then anyone can come by and do the same thing as that. Yeah. And it's like you know. Anyway, we got to move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the next closest bush, which is oh, we're in this dead area. Oh yeah. That's, to, that is an issue. Where can we go? Probably go that way. Okay, that works. Oh, wait, yeah, well, maybe we could just go through the middle of it. I don't know. Uh, either way, honestly, because we, we'll have this stuff. Although there are some people over there with the gold stuff. So we might not want to go towards it. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be okay. They're kind of far away. Okay, as long as you believe it. I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there are any bushes in this area. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like one thing, I'm going to talk about this slightly out of the bush, but only because it's about Fortnite and we're in it right now. But, like, Fortnite, I feel like every game is different, you know? Yeah. There's something about that that just really works. Yeah, <laughs> like, like these short, fast-paced action games. Yeah, like the same with Splatoon. It's like everything, like every round feels a little bit different. You know, it's just like, it's, it's like you watch basketball and football, and I mm-hmm. sometimes do, but... Yeah. You know, even like, though it's the same thing, technically. You can be the best team in the entire thing, but you can still lose, which is really fun. Yeah. I've like, been watching, you know? Oh, you might need That's, that. Where are, we, where are we going? To a bush. Let's go. Yeah, to Don't to talk outside of the bush, except for well, gameplay. I was going to say, we can talk. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about Fortnite. I feel like that one's fair game. You brought yeah. up Splatoon. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> delete. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Okay, we're getting into the the area where we can maybe see bushes soon. We make these arbitrary rules. We break these arbitrary rules. Um, there's a bush right on the other side of this gate. Nice. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Didn't want to walk. <laughs> All right, we're in the bush again. Have you been playing any other games lately? Uh, I'm trying not to sneeze, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know I have been playing. Uh, this is one I think you've really been looking forward to, actually, to okay. play. Yeah, uh, Supermarket Simulator. Oh, <laughs> you've been playing that? <laughs> yeah. How does that? Okay, how does it work? Like, what? What? What's the? What's the loop? The game loop like? So uh, it's it's sort of a like growth loop, I guess. Like you know, you're growing a supermarket. You start with a small like kind of New York style like supermarket. Okay. And you've only got like three shelves, and you just like a bodega or something. Or yeah, a bodega basically, and you're just slowly like building it up. At first, you're the only one stalking and you know doing yeah. the checkouts and stuff. And then you slowly start hiring people to so where you automate more and more things, and you expand the store to have more items. Okay. You buy licenses, license to um, stock more items, and then you just sort of like it's basically getting to a point of automation with everything. I've gotten to a point where all I'm doing now is literally just buying stuff on the computer and like running around trying to make sure we don't run out of stock. So I'm getting a little bit bored, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it's like it's a very early access. It literally just got its like second update because they've just built a team. But it's, okay. I don't know, it's one of those things, much like, you know, I like playing American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator too, and um, I've always enjoyed simulators since I was a kid. I used to play like Big Mother Truckers and <laughs> yeah. like all these other games. 
Um, but yeah, Supermarket Simulator is just kind of like, you know, it, it, it's something to play while I'm watching YouTube. I was, was literally watching your Luigi's Mansion series on the side while playing it. Okay. So, um, but yeah, that was just, that was actually one of the random ones that I've been playing. Beyond that, I still, I'm, I'm about to go back and actually finish Baldur's Gate 3. Really? Um, yeah, I was like about halfway through. I just kind of got, you know, I got like two acts done, then I got a little bit. Are you recording it so. or just playing it for no. fun? I, I decided to play that one for fun just because it's such a big, like, endeavor. Yeah. It would be a better stream game. It's another Actually, it's like it's 80 hour game. game. <laughs> uh, I would, yeah, I would say it's probably something like that. That's another game that we, you know, we were talking about Nintendo and their higher prices. It's yeah. only just gone on sale 20% off, but still $46. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Like they don't really want to lower the price because they, you know, want to pay their people, and it's such a good game. I would pay full price again. <laughs> again, just you, you like, could, you could give me a copy. Yeah, true. I don't know. If you, I, don't know. I think, I I'm think not, you would like it, but it, maybe it would be, it would be a stream game just because the choices and the dialogue are so funny. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's take this car to the next bush. All right. I'll let you drive again. I guess You're we're driving? just go. Oh, I am? Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got, a, got in on the other side. I don't know what happened. Oh, machine gun turret and cow catcher. Oh, really? Yeah, right there. There's a cow catcher and the machine gun turret behind this little tower. I mean, I'll take it just in case something happens here. You never know. I, my main goal, though, is, of course, finding a bush. So true. Um, wow. Hmm. Surprised no bushes. Oh, there's one. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would enjoy Baldur's Gate 3. Um, yeah. But again, I mean, I, I am thinking about it from a video creation standpoint. And I'm like, the how long it is and, and how now yeah. it's an old game, <laughs> basically. So... Yeah, it, people would still love to see it, uh, but I think they would love to see it in a... I mean, they would probably still be okay in a video form, but the thing is, with Let's Play videos, there is a big trail-off after about five episodes. Yeah. Like, you know, that's the problem. Like, even, you know, as good as Paper Mario is as a series, you, you know, it's long, and people start to... You can, you know, you see the fuse just slowly dwindle just because... Yeah. It's, you know... But people it, have either seen it or bought it or whatever in the time yeah and the, the one thing that paper mario has you know is that it's all it's a remake or whatever of an old game anyway and same thing with luigi's yeah. mansion 2 I, I i really want to see what happens with like the new zelda game how well that does as a let's play series someone's coming yeah for sure oh we're all right by the way to beat balder gay's bolt balder's gay balder's gay 3 it's 66 and a half hours completionist is 159 main and sides is 111 the average is 112. That's a lot of time. <laughs> this guy must have stopped because I don't, I don't yeah. see him. I don't hear it's him. Yeah, I think he he's around here somewhere. Uh, he's over there. But yeah, I think it's definitely a streamer game because just the choices and like, you know, being able to get the audience involved when you make said choices is fun. That's what um, like a few that I've watched have done and it's very interesting. Like I watched, uh, you know, Sips and a few others play it. Yeah, and um, that's much more the the typical choice. Which I mean, he, he didn't even finish the game. He doesn't finish a lot of the games he starts, but <laughs> that okay, was, yeah, that was definitely one of them. I know you always worry about um, when you start a game. You feel you feel like the big desire to finish. Yeah, I'm 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 very much of the fact if I'm not liking something or if it's going on too long, I'm like I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like that people won't watch my videos if I don't finish the series that I start. So. Yeah, I think it really depends on how many oh, we have a car. things are still getting. Oh, yeah, cool. We have a good car, too, so. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh right, At right, least a car that can has has some firepower, so. Yeah, so I can kiss some people over here and stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's, should we just encounter someone, or should we yeah, just? Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like shooting people. And then, you know, game lines, maybe. Up ahead, we're going to go up here. Oh, wow, you <laughs> Keep doing that. <laughs> it's fun. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa. There was a I was big... Like, I was like, we really just seem to be floating right now. <laughs> here we go. Um, There's a rival car right here. I'm sure this will go up. Okay. Shot him for a bit. <laughs> uh, Zach. Oh. 
I wouldn't have done it that way. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'm driving now? Heck yeah. Now I can shoot. Yeah, I think you're better shooting anyways. Me? The driving? <laughs> Kill. <laughs> this is a weird gun. one. What about it? Oh. Whoa! What the heck? We flying. I got one of them down. Nice. Oh, I think it was the, the driver. Oh! Okay. Oh, it's Peter Griffin! Hey, got him. Alright, got him. Oh, he had a medal. Oh, I got yeah. the medal. Oh. I'm hiding because I'm so low on health. <laughs> 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 Where, I, I need some health. Oh, there's some bandages. All right, I did take a medal, so we're located now. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, that's the best part about it. Uh, yeah, I got a guitar and a ringmaster's boom bolt. So there's a legendary uh, boom bolt now, which is cool. I have infinite ammo of all types right now, so that's what I got infinite. going for me. What yeah, this is what the medal did. Oh, okay. I was gonna say what? <laughs> um, is that cheating? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I thought it wouldn't matter. We're just doing a podcast. So I'm just... Yeah, just install a couple mods. Uh, I shot someone and now they know we're in here. Whoop. Hope you don't mind. Oh, God, I used the guitar. <laughs> they're dead. I got them. I don't know where you went, but they're gone. I used the guitar. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, is someone here? Yeah, there's footsteps. I thought they were coming up the stairs. Oh, wow. We gotta move. I do have a guitar now, too, though. Yeah, um... What if the guitar would just go through the ceiling? You think it could? I can try. Oh, you try first. Yep. <laughs> Great. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to where we need to go. Can we go down? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you kind of just have to, like, aim it a weird but... Oh, gosh, there's windows. There's windows in this building. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God, dang it. Oh, I got shot. Oh. Where from? They're from outside the building over there. He's coming to get me. Who are you? Oh, I oh. thought I could take him. Third oh, place. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Top three. Oh. <laughs> I think we've been in the top three every time, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we're not doing too bad. We, we didn't get a win like we did last episode, but uh, we nah. came kind of close. We had fun here. Thank you for yeah. watching the Two in the Bush podcast. I think we touched on all the topics that we cared to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we, be sure to check things. out uh, our creator codes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say. I was, uh, what's the outro to this? <laughs> How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do podcasting? Uh, no. Um Creator code, Zach Scott Games, Xanator. Mm -hmm. So true. So true. Let us know <laughs> in the comments below if there's any awesome news you want us to talk about next time. And yeah. uh, we'll see you next time for more. See you. Goodbye. <laughs>